So good morning. I think a, a new leader uh, would not really uh, resolve the current um, stalemate because, uh, well, it's it's likely that you, he or she will come from the most uh, intransigent um, Eurosceptic uh, side of the Tory party, uh, while uh, the uh, parliamentary arithmetic has not really changed, and clearly um, there's a majority in, in Parliament against an audit Brexit. Um, and, and therefore, the risk is that with a new leader, uh, the tensions, the institutional tensions between uh, the Prime Minister and uh, Parliament will, if anything, increase. And this, in turn, could lead to a government crisis, general election, uh, and more uncertainty uh, down the road. Of course, other uh, outcomes are, are possible, depending on, on the next uh, Tory leader and uh, on his or her attitude uh, to, to Brexit. And so we might see, like, a a softer Brexit or uh, uh, a second referendum or even uh, a no uh, deal Brexit on the 31st of October. But again, um, uh, my baseline really is that uh, there, there will be um, an extension to Brexit negotiations and uncertainty will uh, persist for longer. And the, I guess the big question now, what is that going to mean for the British economy? We, of course, have seen some news just in the last week that things are really starting to bite with the collapse of British Steel, for instance, what's the climate like out there uh, for business, uh, for the economy, with so much uncertainty? So Brexit has not happened yet, really, uh, but it has already been a significant drag uh, on the economy. Um, according to most estimates, including the one uh, by the Bank of England, uh, the UK GDP is uh, between 1.5% and 2% lower uh, than in a no uh, Brexit scenario, uh, and mainly because of, of uncertainty. Uh, uncertainty has clearly weighted on uh, uh, investment, business investment. Last year, as a matter of fact, business investment contracted by 2.5%. Uh, and of course, this is a drag on uh, growth right now, uh, but that also um, could uh, jeopardize really the, the, uh, the economy prospects going forward, given that basically uh, weaker business, business investment means uh, weaker productivity growth down the line. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.